What I have here set up today is an ordinary microwave oven transformer. It's a small one, maybe from a 500 watt or so oven. What I've wanted to do for a while, but never gotten around to, is hook one of these up to a big breaker here in the machine shop so it can draw all sorts of power and just let it arc until the thing fails, seeing how it fails. Let's give this a try. The mot's plugged in, let's get an arc going if we can. I had to stop quickly and try different electrodes because the first ones, uh, 1 16th copper, were melting. Well, we've established an arc and the thing doesn't seem to be melting this time. There's some smoke rising from the transformer. The electrical supply lines are holding up, and I'm on a 100 amp breaker with no ballasting, so this little thing can draw whatever it likes. I'm just hoping the soldered connections don't melt off the primary first. Well, we'll see. Starting to get good smoke emission from the primary winding. It seems to be the primary that overheats badly on these. And there we go, microwave oven transformer devastation. Something I've always wanted to try, running a small mot to burn out. And here we go, less than three minutes have gone by. The breaker was not popped by this experiment. But the blast of heat did blow the soldered wires off at the very, very end, releasing the electrical supply. Yes, we have a fried mot. Blow it out. And, well, I guess that's it for this video about frying an M.O.T. unballasted.